It's that time of year again. We're going to cover some of the top reasons for holiday emergencies. And today we'll be talking about foreign objects. Now, foreign objects can be either swallowed or inhaled, and this usually occurs in children from the ages of one to three. Now, some of the symptoms of either an object being swallowed or inhaled can cause coughing, chest pain, drooling, fever, vomiting, difficulty swallowing, amongst many other symptoms. If your child, as we have seen here, our boy in this diagram has swallowed a Christmas ornament, if you have a child which has swallowed um, whether it be a toy car, a Christmas ornament, coins, or any kind of these items, you uh, have to take a look at these symptoms to see if the child is in actual distress or pain, if the object is sharp, if the object has corners to it, this could cause some serious um, damage to the mucosal lining of either the esophagus or the trachea. So there are some things you should not do. You do not give the child food or drink. You do not induce vomiting. Both of these could, again, irritate the mucosal line and cause further damage on it, um, whether or not the object is moving to or fro where it came from. Do have them see a doctor if these symptoms persist and uh, it is not alleviated. A lot of times if a child swallows an object, such as a toy or coins or something, the doctor will tell them to just monitor their feces and weigh it out. Most of these scenarios, the child will just pass the foreign object in their feces. However, if it is sharp or has corners or can cut, then definitely have them see a physician and they will have them removed by their endoscopy or surgery. Now, if an object is inhaled, as we can see here, as crudely shown in this diagram, it's important to know anatomically that more likely the item will get lodged in the right primary bronchus as opposed to the left primary bronchus. And this is because typically the right bronchus is shorter, wider, or thicker, and it has a more vertical placement to it. So anatomically, this is the most likely region for an inspired foreign object to land. Now the treatment for either a swallowed or inhaled foreign object is to perform back blows or abdominal thrusts, or the Heimlich maneuver if you like to call it that. But do either back blows or abdominal thrusts or together in a series fashion of five and five together to try and dislodge the foreign object from the child. Again, if this does not assist the child in their dilemma and these symptoms are persisting, please seek medical attention immediately because this is a medical emergency. And this is our holiday emergency.